The Weaver Girl and the Cowherd. Once upon a time, in a village named Gyuza, which located in the west of Namzhang area, there was a smart and kind young man named Gyulang Ater. His parents had passed away when he was young, so he had to live with his elder brother and his sister-in-law. One year in the autumn. The sister-in-law had him work as a cowherd. She gave him only nine bulls, but asked him to bring ten bulls back when he came home. Miu Lang had to leave the village, bringing the bull herd along with him. Miu Lang stayed with the bulls on a mountain. The mountain was full of grass and plants. He sat under the shadow of the tree. And kept worrying about what to do to have ten bulls to go home. Suddenly, an old snowy-haired man appeared in front of him. The old man asked Liu Long why he was upset. After hearing his story, the old man laughed and told Liu Long, "You don't need to be worried. On Fuk New Mountain, there is an old bull which is currently badly sick." Take care of him and raise him. When he's well, you can bring it home. Yu Lang climbed up mountains and hills, and after a long journey, he finally found the sick old bull. Realizing that the condition of the bull was very bad, he rushed to cut the grass. He kept feeding him for three constant days. After being full. The old bull slowly raised his head, looking at Yu Lang and said, "I used to be the great fairy bull. I violated the rule of the heavens, so I was exiled to this place. I broke my leg. I could not move. I must use the dew drops collected from the flowers to wash my wound in one month to back to normal." Hearing the bull's words, Yu Lang did not hesitate to help him. Yu Lang took care of the bull very carefully. Every morning, he went out to pick up flowers and collect dew drops to help the bull wash his wound. At night, Yu Lang leaned on the bull to sleep. When the bull recovered, Yu Lang took all ten bulls back home happily. However, after coming back home, his sister-in-law still treated him very bad. She even built up schemes to harm him. Fortunately, the old bull always has solutions to help him. In the end, the sister-in-law was full of anger, and she forced Yu Lang to leave the house. When he left, he only asked to bring the old bull with him. One day, Chuknu, Vega, and other fairies went down to the underworld for spring bathing. Thanks to the old bull's help, Yu Lang got acquainted with Chuknu, and they fell in love with each other. Later, then, Chuknu escaped from the heaven and became Yu Lang's wife. Chuknu even brought silk worms from the heaven. And taught the villagers to raise silk worm, to harvest cocoons, and weave smooth silk from the cocoons. After they got married, every day Yu Lang worked on the farm while Chiknu worked with the weaving loom. They lived happily with two children, a son and a daughter. However, their happy life did not last long. Because the Jade Emperor finally knew about them, the Celestial Queen Mother went down to the underworld herself and forced Chiknu to go back to the heaven. The couple was separated. Yu Lang could not go to the heaven to meet Chiknu. The old bull said that after he died, Yu Lang can use his ox hide to make shoes. These shoes would help him to go up to the heaven. Yu Lang followed the bull's instruction. He made ox hide shoes and brought their two children along with him to the heaven. 
They traveled through clouds and wind to find Chiknu. When Yulang almost caught up with Chiknu, the celestial queen mother used her golden brooch to draw a line. Immediately, a river named Tianha appeared between them and rushing waves. Yulang and Chiknu were separated on the two opposite banks of the river. They could only look at each other with their eyes blurred with tears. Their faithful love touched the tribes' hearts. Thousands of tribes from different regions flew to the river, and together they formed a bridge called Tokyo to help Yulang and Chiknu come to each other. The celestial queen mother could not but allow them to meet each other. On Tokyo Bridge every year on July the seventh in lunar calendar, year after year until now, on July the seventh, Yulang and Chiknu meet each other on Tokyo Bridge, and each year, the young ladies often look up to the sky to seek for two stars, Yulang and Chiknu, on the two banks of the galaxy. Hoping to witness the couple's once-a-year gathering, every lady wished for herself to be as talented and neat-handed as Tukne, and they also wished to have a beautiful laugh, just like Yu Lang and Tukne's. And that was the origin of the Double Seventh Festival.